Hi guys, Happy New Year! And um, well, I guess I haven't been doing a lot of videos and uh, I've just recently put up a video which um, is done or film rather uh, when I first got back from um, Australia to Singapore and uh, I actually did a swatch, a lipstick swatch video on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve but uh, because the video format is uh, different from what YouTube usually allows so I'm having trouble converting it and posting it up but in any case um, I would just like to show you my recent obsession with the candles um, as usual uh, I got out today and I realized that hey you know Singapore Korean Evening does sell candles anyway um, I mean you know does sell candles sorry I can't talk today um, and I got really excited because um, candles are really hard to come by uh, cent uh, good center candles are really hard to come by in Singapore unlike uh, back when I was in Australia but the cost really puts me off so um, it costs about $70 for um, candles that this size which is a three week candle and for a candle this size is about like $50 so it's really a bomb in Singapore I'm glad that these candles that I bought today they are on half priced so I went out and I got some Crabtree and Evelyn candles which are on um, sale like I mentioned and um, I think they're doing some clearance for their Christmas scents so I've got uh, three two Noels and uh, one, this one is um, Smoky Amber Fragrance uh, Candle. So these um, candles come with really really nice interior design and everything, which is something like these patterns that you are seeing here. And I really like it. Um, I'm burning one now, which is this one. Uh, it's the Noel scented uh, fragrance candle. I found that I don't really like spicy candles at all, so I'm not really sure like how I'm gonna finish burning all them, but um, we'll see. And this one here, uh, Yankee candle, which I heard uh, is very popular in the U.S. This is given to me by uh, my boss and it's a really small cute little one and I can't wait to burn this because it really smells very nice in a can so um, that's it for my haul what I'm really setting out to do today is actually a what's in my bag video or rather an updated what's in my bag video I think I did one in Australia uh, before I came back but uh, things have changed now so I'm going to show you what I'm uh, carrying for my everyday bag which is this one it's a new one, a uh, Gucci bag, and I don't know what the specs of it is, you can actually search it up online. But it's a good size and it comes with a zip. I try not to buy bags without a zip um, because, you know, just for security reason or whatever not. And I'm going to show you the very, very messy interior of it. Um, this is really unedited, so you will see like every single thing that's in my bag um, that I'm going to carry to work, you know, every day. So, um, yeah. First thing I have in my bag is a 2012 calendar. Well, this calendar um, is supposed to be for a colleague of mine who doesn't have a 2012 calendar. So this is not in its, uh, you know, like in every day kind of, um, you know, things I carry in my bag. Of course, I won't carry a calendar around every single day, but an agenda, yes. Uh, I bought this agenda shortly after I came back from uh, Australia, and this is a really cute uh, agenda, Rila Kuma agenda, with all, um, you know, the spaces that you can write stuff in. I really like agendas which are like that, and I only hope that it comes in uh, a one day per page calendar uh, or rather agenda because I really really do scribble a lot of things in my agenda itself and this is my is this going to be my everyday 2012 calendar, uh, agenda why do I keep saying you know calendar with agenda I, I don't know um these two snacks things are given to me by uh, my friend Jill and uh, it's not always in my bag for everyday uh, you know carrying stuff these are just two of the things that I've thrown in um, for me to snack on uh, when I go back to work um, on Tuesday yeah so these are like flavored seaweed which she bought from Korea and thank you Jill 
Okay, next up is my um, favorite cardigan, which I bought from Target in Australia, and this is still serving me very well. It's really thick, and I like it, and it keeps me warm on mo most days when I'm feeling cold. So this is really a must-have for every day. Um, if it's not this cardigan, it will be another cardigan, uh, which I've got in Singapore. It it's called Cotton Candy, if I uh, if I'm not wrong. And um, you really need one of these because the weather changes. Um, it can vary, so yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, this is like a dirty tissue that's inside. Okay, I have a bag organizer. This is usually how I organize big bags like this. I think for the one that I've done before, you have already seen, I have uh, another orangey uh, bag organizer. But for this one, I'm using an Acne B bag organizer, which comes free from a magazine that I bought in Singapore. Well, first thing, of course, um, it's my everyday wallet thing. Uh, I used to have a proper wallet, but nowadays I'm very lazy, so I will just use a coach wristlet for that. It holds everything uh, from medicated oil to change money and my cards. I'm not gonna show you what's inside this uh, wristlet itself because I need one hand for my camera, so yeah, there's that. And the next thing is um, a coin purse, which you guys have seen this before. This is a Louis Vuitton uh, Demir. Um, coin holder. It can hold cards uh, well and uh, for notes you gotta fold them and put them in. I've got uh, a tiny tiny first aid kit here. I'm not gonna show you what's inside but um, whatever that you need for emergency purposes like for example medicated oil, plasters. Uh, I think I do have um, um, some bandage inside I guess but this comes really useful if you um, need it for some emergency purposes I, I think I also have eye drops inside and pins so this is just for emergency these are some bank letters and receipts that I have that's totally random um, okay I have just recently started carrying a hanky around uh, my bag because this is more environmentally friendly that way but I haven't got turned around to use it yet because I'm still using tissue paper for most part because um, when you put on makeup you wouldn't want to dirty your hanky for that so I tend to use this only when um, days when I don't put on makeup which is pretty much um, most part of my working days because when I wake up I just I'm not in the mood, uh, but I really should put an effort into my appearance. Yeah. So that's that, and my pencil case, which is um, what you guys see in Australia as well. There's a pencil inside, and uh, an eraser, some paper clips, and also my Swarovski crystal pen. This uh, pencil case is really good. Um, it's from Muji and it holds all your uh, pencils and pens and if you get leakage it won't get into your expensive bag especially if you have bags which you know the interior is of a different color other than black so this is really useful uh, keys uh, and iPod um, what's this called? earphones medicated oil this is um, spectacle uh, cleaning cloth or you can use it on any electronic surfaces that you need to clean. Um, this cloth is scratch proof I believe. Uh, medication, I've just recently gotten gastric so this is my gastric medication. Uh, my work pass which I'm not going to show you. Random paper clips. Uh, more snacks. This one I really like from Australia. These are uh, Golden Day Sesame Snaps. My family loves it too. So if I ever gonna be going back to Australia, I'll definitely be shipping heaps of this back. More keys. That's all for the inside of this uh, bag organizer. And on the side, I have my iPod. Um, my... Oh, this is totally new. I've got this for uh, Christmas from one of my friends, Charmaine. She knows that I love post-it pads uh, and fancy stationery, so this one says total crap. And it has notes here so that I can like totally write everything. I figured that I shall put this in my bag because if I don't have space in my agenda, I can totally just write it on post-it pad and just uh, you know stick on top of the days and stuff like that. Um, this is my appointment card for um, the hospital. Um, yeah. 
Eye Clinic. Um, this is uh, Ricola, and um, you know it's good when you have days where you need to refresh yourself. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, back insert. And I've got this in my bag also. This is uh, also given to me by Charmaine. This is self-inking stamp. And this is one of those fancy stationery uh, that she knows I like as well. And I'm really glad she gave me this for uh, Christmas. And it says, and another thing, uh, below, uh, I know it doesn't focus, so I'll read it out for you. Call me. You look hot. Uh, work on that and so there. So this is really cute. Thank you, Charmaine. And the last one, I believe you guys have seen before. This is my everyday uh, travel makeup bag that I keep like all oops uh, that I keep all my makeup in. So yeah. So this is uh, you know there's nothing left, and I don't keep anything like in this area. So just so that you know. So this is um, my updated uh, what's in my bag. So do leave me a video response if. Um, you guys have stuff in your bag that, uh, you know, you know, interesting stuff. I know all girls are kind of like, um, a little bit curious at all times. Like, you know, they like to rummage through stuff and see what other girls carry. So, I hope you enjoyed mine and I hope to see yours too. See ya! Happy New Year! Bye!